Hello YouTube, this is an alcohol review of Sons of Aaron Irish Whiskey. According to the label, 750 ml bottle, 46% alcohol by volume, uh, Restless Spirits Distilling Company, imported. That has me questioning. The rest of the labels read... Irish folklore suggests that Aaron, the nickname for Ireland, was given to the Emerald Isle by the ancient Milesian, Milesians to honor their mythological goddess, Iriu. To this day, Aaron is used in the famed rallying cry dating back to the rebellion of 1798, Aaron Gobra, which means Ireland forever. This whiskey is a tribute to all those of Irish descent and the sons and daughters of Aaron. Press of Spirits, Distilling Company, dot com. Product of Ireland. That's where I find it strange, because if you look over to the other part of the label, it says here, bottled by Rest of Spirits, Distilling Company, North Kansas City, Missouri. Alright, bottled, I guess I can see that. I'm not sure why, because it looks here, it says here, um, Resonance Spirits Distilling. It almost sounds like they're taking the credit for making it, but if it's made in Ireland, but it's distilled Kansas City, North Kansas City. That's something you guys may not know about. Uh, Kansas City is a little bit of a peculiar city in that it is like four cities wrapped into one. I was surprised when I came out here to find that out. And each city is very proud of themselves. So you do not go and say, oh, aren't you part of Kansas City? And they're like, no, Kansas City's part of us. Alrighty. We have here a very pale, lemony yellow. My sniffer roll. Sniff out. I guess I should clean that better. <laughs> There's a bit of a burn. There's the uh, the customary ethanol type of odor coming out of it. Fruit notes: lemon, orange, mainly lemon. Caramel, hint of earthiness buried deep down there. But all in all, <clears throat> rather light. That's one of the things I like about Irish whiskeys is that they are um, not so aggressive on the palate. Now, Scotch, on the other hand, wants to knock you down, beat you up, and take your wallet. American whiskeys think they're Scottish whiskeys, but they're not quite as brazen. And thus you get the nice, light Irish whiskeys that it wants to sit there at the table with you and have a few sips. It doesn't care how your day is, but it does want to have a few sips. And just like you'd expect. It's light, light in its flavor, but this is a bit burny and a bit bitey uh, in the beginning. But it fades out fairly quick. The ethanol uh, bitter, I guess, if, if you will, starts to rise up as the rest of the flavors fall off the palate. It has about a medium-ish or so hang time. But yeah, that, that, that ethanol flavor that I'm never really much of a fan of starts to die down with the rest of the flavors also dying down with it. It's just kind of like a rise and slight fall. That bite and that burn, of course, fades with uh, the more sips you have, the more your tongue acclimates to what you are, what you're sipping. 
uh, leaving with a nice, light flavored Irish whiskey. There's nothing really to um, to complain about with this particular Irish whiskey. In comparison to other Irish whiskeys that are out there, I would not mix this with anything. It doesn't have the backbone to stand up or stand out in any kind of cocktail that you may uh, want want to put this in. So it is definitely a, uh, a single out there type of sipper. Putting any ice on it also may uh, kill it as well. Because when you put ice into any kind of um, uh, spirit, you automatically lose around 70% or more of the flavor as well as the nose. The human body doesn't like cold very well, especially when it comes to tasting your favorite bourbons and whiskeys and everything else. This is already light to begin with. I don't want to say faint compared to taste. It's not. It's, it's there, but it's, it, it is light. So adding ice to it, I think, will just do nothing more than uh, defeat your purpose of having a, a decent whiskey. So there you are. It's, 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 it is a nice Irish whiskey. Give it a try. See what you think. This is Sons of Aaron. Any comments about the particular product down below? would be warmly received, or better yet, go out, buy it, try it yourself, review it online for the rest of us in the YouTube community, can get your opinions about Sons of Aaron. In the meantime, as always, keep on drinking.